Good morning, Facebook Live and Jocelyn fans. I'm Rebecca, the program director at the Jocelyn Center, and today we are on a Friday field trip. Uh, I believe this is episode 141 of the Jocelyn Variety Show. So we are going to take you on a tour of Civic Center Park in La Quinta. So I know that we did Civic Center Park in Palm Desert a couple of weeks ago, um, and this is another really gorgeous, wonderful way to get outside, um, to get some fresh air, to get some sunshine, to walk your dog, to get some exercise. Um, this is a really, really great place to do it. it it's about a 17 acre park. Um, there is lots of walking paths, there's public art all along the paths, um, there is lakes and ducks and waterfalls um, and tons of grass. You can bring a blanket and have a picnic. Um, it's just a really lovely park. So we're going to walk you down it just a little bit so that you can see some of what is out here. There's benches all the way along the route. So if you wanted to sit down and have a rest during your walk, you can do that. And there's lots of big trees and shady spots. So if you get warm or overheated, because I know it's supposed to be a little bit warm this weekend, then you have the option to hang out in the shade for a little bit. Don't forget to bring your mask, because there are other folks out here. It's not crowded, as you can tell, but it's always polite if you're passing somebody on the path to make sure that you have your mask on or just wear your mask the whole time you're out here if that's something that you're comfortable doing. There's a really fun gazebo up here. Oh, and there's, did you notice the mosaics on the ground? These are all the way along the path. There's these neat little mosaics that are mostly um, homages to the local, um, the native tribes. And that's just some of the public art. We're also bordered by the La Quinta Library and the Wellness Center on one side and then their City Hall and Police Department on the other. So if you want to pop into the library, you can. The Wellness Center is closed because it's a fitness center um, and we're in purple. So hopefully when we get out of this tier, they'll reopen. But La Quinta also has a really great fitness center. Let's sit out here where we can see the ducks. If you've got kids or grandkids that like to see ducks, you can come here. But remember that bread and popcorn are bad for ducks and bad for their habitat and the ecosystem. So if you're gonna come feed the ducks, you can bring them things like peas, uh, shredded lettuce, corn, even bird seed, um, but not bread. Don't bring them bread. Um, so let's walk over the bridge here. And you can get a good view of the really lovely water. You'll see lots of dogs out here. People love walking their dogs, lots of kids. It's always fun to watch. And these fun little water features that add so much some great background sound um, and an element of cool refreshingness to your walk. Um, uh, plus you have this beautiful view of the mountains that surround the Quinta all around us, which is one of my very favorite parts. So uh, if you come check out the Civic Center Park in La Quinta, send us some pictures because we love to see when you guys are out and about. Make sure you do it safely, make sure that you have your mask that you stay socially distanced from other folks who are out here um, and get some fresh air because it's really important right now, especially as it's cooling off, that you still get out and about just a little bit and do it in a way that is really safe and responsible. Um, let's walk down this way because there's some folks coming in. I don't want to be in the way. I'm going to come just over onto the grass so I can tell you what's coming up next week. perfect place for a picnic. Um, so it is Friday. We missed you guys on Wednesday and I'm so sorry, but we were very, very busy with Uncle John's surprise birthday party. So thank you so much to everybody who came out to that. We had such a really wonderful time. We had support from the Palm Springs Air Museum who sent two planes for a flyover. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department came through with their motorcycles and their, uh, their SUVs. We had uh, lots of friends and family. The American Legion bikes came through. Um, we had Rotary folks come through, um, VFW folks. It was just a really great time for, for everyone that, uh, that came and dropped off cards for him. I think he was very overwhelmed um, and pleased by all of the, uh, all the support. So thank you for coming out to that. Um, next week, things are mostly back to normal. We've got our regular programming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So check out our calendar for all of the information on that. 
Um, that is at jocelyncenter.org. And if you go to the programs tab, you have the option to view the calendar and you can see what's going on every single day of the week coming up. Um, we have a health lecture from Eisenhower next week. Uh, we're going to be talking about rehabilitation and particularly low vision rehabilitation, which is really important for a lot of us out there now. Uh, so join us for that next week, but we will see you guys on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, come out and enjoy the parks. It's finally cool enough to be outdoors a little bit. So I hope that you, uh, that you get out and stretch your legs a bit. And uh, we will see you on Monday. Bye.